Hey everyone, I'm going to share a quick demo on how to get started with RNBO in the web browser. I'm not going to explain so so much in this tutorial. I might create a more in-depth tutorial in the future. This is TBD. In the meantime, let's get started. What I'm working with right now is a blank Max MSP patch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new object, shortcut N, and write RNBO tilde. From here, I'm going to right click on this object, open up the help file, and from here, I'm going to click on RNBO intro. This will open up a RNBO intro patch. Something that I'm going to ultimately do with this patch is I'm going to export a portion of this patch and insert it into a web page. Right? So that's where we're going towards. What part am I going to export? I'm going to show you. Let's zoom in. All right, and I'm going to double click on this RNBO tilde object, right? And so what this is, is this is a feedback synth. It takes in some notes, some MIDI values, and exports audio, right? And so again, this is the portion we're going to insert into a web page. Something that is cool is that Cycling provides a web page template for us to work with. I'm going to show you how to get there from this RNBO intro page. Let's go to more examples. Click on this. From there, it's going to open up a link in the web browser. Here, I'm on this Explore page. From here, I'm going to click on JavaScript Web Page Template. Let's click on that. I'm going to click on this link over here, the JavaScript Web Page Template. Let's click. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to open it in a new tab. <laughs> and what will open is a GitHub page. And so I'm going to download the example template click code, click download zip, right? I'm downloading a zip. I've downloaded the template. Cool, we're getting there. Before I talk about how to use the template, I, I want to highlight that this GitHub page has instructions, really great instructions on how to get started with this template. What I'm doing is a little bit different from this instructions. This instructions uses GitHub and Node.js. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code instead. So. Let's go back to our zip. I'm going to click this, show in the finder. So this is the zip that I just downloaded, the template, web page template. Let's double click on this, open it up. All right. And so here we'll see the same contents as that in the git that's in the GitHub. It is a web page, index.html, JS. Ooh. Uh, folder I want to highlight now is that there's this export folder within this template and here you'll see something that says readme.md and so here we'll see instructions to export your RNBO code into this directory right so this is an important folder okay so we have our template let's go back to max open up max this over here double click on our feedback synth. So let us export this feedback synth into our patch. So here we see open the export sidebar. What's that? That's this over here. As I hover, you'll see show export sidebar. Let's click on it. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click now on web export. Click here. Click on this. Cool. And so from here, I'm going to choose an outport directory. So where do I want this export to be saved? Well, our folder right now is still in my download. So I'm going to go to the folder, my template, right? And so earlier, like I said, we want to export into our export folder. I'll click open. All right. So now it's routed to the correct location. For this export to work for the patch, I also need to rename the file. I'm going to delete this and write patch. And you might be wondering, Melody, why does this need to be named patch? That's because the instructions for the template says so. And so this should be enough for us to export this out. So let's go click on this bottom right. So export to select a target. Click on that. When it's done, it'll give us a notification. Let us know. There you go. And so it said successfully exported to target. Let's see, I should be able to go to the folder with the project. There you go, you see it in the export folder, patch.export.json. So it looks like we exported RNBO into the website. 
Now how do we open it? Okay, here's a way to open it with again, Visual Studio Code. I have this application already downloaded over here. What I can do is I can click open. From here, I'm gonna to go to my folder with my project. So here, I'm just selecting this RNBO example web page main, click open. And so from there, I can click on this index.html. At this point, I'd like to run the project using a live server. I have an extension that works with Visual Studio Code already installed. I'll put a link to it. Since everything is installed, I'm able to click on this button down here that says go live. And what we'll see is a running version of the template. If everything is hooked up correctly, I should be able to start clicking on this and get some audio. And so I think, I think we got a synth, right? We did it. We've exported video into a web web page. So that about concludes my demo. Again, not a lot of explaining, more showing, but I hope this was useful. Have a happy new year. Thanks.